Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So we have launched a new Git paid course. Uh, this is not a live training, but this is about the paid tutorials. And the videos will be given to you. You just simply go to my website, NaveenAutomationLabs.com, get course, and then you will be able to see all the courses over there. And uh, here you will be seeing a lot of good uh, workflows, really good use cases. And uh, the cost is very, very minimal that I have put. Initially, that is around in India, it's only 12.99 rupees, around 20 dollars, and uh, for US folks, it will be 20 dollars, and after Diwali, it will be 22.50 and 35 dollars. And the course content that I have covered almost everything because this course content is very much required because whenever I talk to people, they are really bad in Git commands, in Git flows. In fact, most of the people they are not even having their repositories also, and they really don't know how to push the code, how to get the pull and then how to work in a collaborative way in a particular team when we have a number of developers and number of other automation engineers people are working together so this course will really really help you to understand how exactly git works in the form of totally purely in the form of uh, git commands and workflows and the different use cases that i have covered so first i'll go through quickly the what exactly the course content that i have added over here with the basic introduction installation on windows and mac machine git global configuration then i'll tell you what is the most important thing that is in Git is that it's architecture, how exactly it works with respect to what do you mean by stage, what do you mean by local repo and the branch because Git maintains its own local repo and branch concept locally, not even remotely, but every developer will get its local working copy. That's why Git is different from SVN. Then a lot of various things. We will push our first commit also. We will do our first commit and then a lot of other things like add uh, add method, add dot method, initialization, git remote and everything we will be seeing that step by step because if you're directly jumping into the advanced topic you will always be confused uh, with git. This is a problem with the git that is slightly confusing and you have to visualize everything and you have to know how exactly git works and everything. So a lot of uh, practical examples, a lot of good uh, visualization examples that I have seen in the form of really good diagrams. Uh, I have created my own diagrams and then uh, through my screen sharing everything I have covered over there. I'll show you a couple of other videos as well. And uh, git commit, git logs, history, git diff, blame, short log. These are regular things that we have to do. In fact, very important for interview point of view also. And you will be getting a lot of confidence when you work with these uh, different commands. Then the advanced concepts like a local branching concept, how to cut a branch, what are the best practices to cut the branch how to create a feature branch then again we have to merge the branch to the master branch master branch to the feature branch and master to another couple of branches that we are creating the practical implementation with live examples we will be covering that and then one of the most important topic that everywhere you have to follow the pr process the pull request and then how exactly the merge request that you will be doing it if merge request is getting reviewed feedback rejected mail notification approval update the same pr PR transaction between multiple developers, PR comments, you know, with multiple accounts that I have practically explained that this level of explanation you will not uh, find on other blogs or maybe on YouTube. In fact, if you go to the Git official documentation also, it's very confusing uh, for a newbie to understand that. So I tried my best to explain you guys at a very ground level, in a very practical way, in a very good uh, use cases point of view, in a prop, okay, in a, uh, you know, in the form of different uh, uh, stories and how exactly the how exactly we work in the real-time examples uh, real-time projects with a really good examples i have covered that i'm pretty much sure it will help you a lot then get various branching commands then get cloning fork process and get local merge get tag and releases this is like one of the important factor features that you have to uh, work with uh, you know in automation frameworks also in fact in your whenever you're pushing the code with respect to releases and you want to give a tag for that particular release you can also do that then we have seen fetching, pulling, the difference between fetch and pull, the difference between merge and rebasing with the proper visualization that I have covered over there. And then some interesting topics like what do you mean by get cherry pick? What do you mean by stash, stash memory, right? What do you mean by a merge conflict and everything that we have covered? And then you can see a lot of uh, merge conflict use cases that I have covered. Conflict with get stash, conflict with get pull, various use cases, understand get conflict, how to resolve it and how to check get configs in, in your specific editor like Eclipse or IntelliJ that you are using it, the stash changes in the merged config, latest pull changes in the merged config and all practical implementation with live example, the best practices that uh, how to 
resolve these conflicts and how to understand the conflict that is also very important thing then aliases that we have uh, covered uh, different shortcuts you can create that you can create your own keyword also very very interesting simple topic uh, it's there and then comparing two commits that is again very important topic that how, how exactly i want to compare the two uh, commits and everything then resetting is like one of the complex and the confusing topic what do you mean by soft reset mixed reset hard reset reset workflow reset design delete a commit history delete a file from the stage delete a commit history from the local repo and what if you have committed the wrong repo uh, to the remote side and then the same uh, code that you want to immediately uh, revert it back okay because otherwise it will be good it will be gone to the production to unstage a file get force pushed to remote and then reset remote changes with all practical implementation practically i have explained that not only is only theory but uh, to understand this you have to practically do that you have to do a wrong commit and then you have to uh, get it back you have to delete the commit history and all such things so how exactly it works this is what i've explained over there and then we have topics like get revert and everything so this is like a very huge list you can see that there are a lot of lot of things that i have covered it's around uh, four to five hours of uh, number of videos are available around 30 videos are there which will cost you 12.99 and it won't be available on youtube guys this is a paid course so you have to pay for it and uh, you will be getting the access on uh, okay on uh, box drive this is my official box drive over here naveen automation labs so once you make the payment you have to send me the payment screenshot and uh, okay to my email id so all the details are written over here you just need to go to this particular page go down you can make the payment via bank transfer also you can make the payment via paypal also or google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use that and then you can scan this particular qr code as well that we have given over here you can just scan it make the payment send me the screenshot and immediately the access will be given to you on the box and all the videos are available over here and then if you see this for example let's see we are talking about what do you mean by uh, uh, get uh, reset for example so see this is the video that you can see that how to rewrite the history for example undoing any comments okay so let me just one. pause it you can change the speed also to the normal just like a youtube video but it will be a private video with your own credentials quality also you can change it you can tag me over here if you are asking any question you can watch the video you can pause it and such things that you can do that so here you can see that uh you can drag and you can just play it you can forward and then coming back you can tag me over here as well for example let's see while watching this video and you really want to ask something you don't need to write me any email for that immediately i'll be getting a notification just like facebook simple write naveen and then uh, please uh, look into it or whatever you can copy paste your query and then post it immediately i'll get a notification over here and then once a notification then i'll be seeing it here and then let's see after six months and two months if you really want to revise the topic once again you will seeing all other people queries as well your queries as well and my resolution and other people also they can contribute so this is something very healthy <coughs> or nice uh, logistic and then uh, environment that i want to provide from my side so that uh, you will be learning the best best way and then a lot of practical diagrams and everything i'll be covering you can see that for each and every topic almost i have covered some really good diagrams and all okay so there are some important notes also we will be getting some see get use cases notes as well as uh, some important files with respect to get ignore and all such things and then various uh, you know various videos are available F installation from uh, windows machine to mac machine to you know different other methods and everything so you will be getting it here and in future if any new things are coming upcoming com uh, coming future uh, videos are there or any a uh, new topics that i'm going to add you don't need to pay it again it will be available over here so you just come and then uh, if you're okay with that just feel free to get this particular course i'm pretty much sure this will uh, make your git knowledge to the next level and then you will have a very much better understanding as compared to others which will not only help you uh, cracking interviews but it will help you a lot in your uh, project as well because if you are learning git you will be able to understand uh, what is bit bucket also because everything uh, the command wise everything will remain same over there so please go and get it uh, this offer will be limited for next one week also before diwali and then uh, after that uh, the prices will be increased so just go and share with others in case of any issues feel free to uh, mail me feel free to uh, put a comment in the comment section of this particular video on youtube also i'll be providing all the important links like from where you have to register the github uh, course registration link and then the content course everything in the 
first comment of this particular video. In fact, you will get all the details in the description of this video or you can directly uh, come to the site naveenautomationlabs.com and from here you just need to click on this. It's available here as well. You can check my other paid courses also available here. You just come and then that's it. And then from here you just will get see the course content if it is compatible if you really helpful for you you feel that just uh, get it and then let me know that's it so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video it's just a small short video and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all